With more stuff online, I'm Rick Bohr at Gloucester Pride Strive with uh, Gloucester City Councilors Joe Shalino and Greg Verga. And Councilor Shalino, let's start with you. Uh, a great day. It's usually cold here and rainy, but uh, a good turnout once again. A good turnout once again. And I've been doing this for uh, probably now just like 11 years. I got recruited to uh, do uh, to flip hamburgers. <laughs> and for 11 years, I've been flicking, flipping hamburgers. Yeah. And I can be proud to say that nobody's ever gotten sick of uh, <laughs> Burgers. All right. Uh, so they're always cooked through, and uh, so I'm very happy to be here again, you know, for year 11. I just saw the mayor, and uh, a lot of stuff going on in Gloucester right now. The budget is in, so you guys have your work cut out for you, but a lot of good things happening in the city. It's a very exciting time, you know, and it's, uh, uh, I think uh, our new mayor is a change agent, agent, and and sometimes change is good, and uh, and and she's doing some uh, different things. She's thinking outside the box, um, and uh, we got a lot happening in Gloucester. And uh, we have, uh, I think, an attitude now that uh, yeah, we can all work together and, uh, and, and make things happen. You have a business down in, right in downtown, correct? I have right? downtown Gloucester. So right. that gives you a different perspective on things as a city councilor as well. Right. right. I'm also uh, chair of uh, uh, the Gloucester Downtown Association. That's a, that's a group of uh, merchants uh, from downtown. And, and downtown has included uh, Railroad Avenue, Flanagan Square, all the way down to the boulevard, uh, back down uh, you know, across uh, Washington. Street. So that's a big chunk of uh, of Gloucester. And again, uh, you know, we, we as merchants work, and we, we're happy that you know, the mayor has helped us out with uh, free parking. She did a, you know, they did a tremendous job snow plowing, uh, to, you know, to help the merchants out. Yeah. All right, we'll shift over to Greg Verga, also uh, at large city councilor. And Greg, uh, I see you enough. <laughs> but uh, good turnout by the city council here today and, and the uh, city officials. Yeah, well, it's, it's a great day, like Joe said. We finally have the good weather, so good turnout. A lot of people here doing a lot of good for local um, nonprofits. Some of the nonprofits, I just talked with Julie LaFontaine over at Open Door, and yeah. uh, it's just amazing. Uh, there are so many good Cape NY taking kids down in New Orleans. Right. It goes on and on. Right, right. There's, there's just so much to do. And actually, I just started a thing on Twitter yesterday today called uh, hashtag add a plant speaking of the open door asking people to when they plant their gardens throw one extra plant in that's dedicated to the open door so oh really so hashtag add a plant take a look at it so what are you going to grow like a grow a tomato plant or something or how, how's that going to yeah, work yeah so it's sort of a symbolic thing so throw okay. in when you're doing your garden just plant one extra because every, everybody who does a garden you know my wife is our gardener at home we always find ourselves with bushels extra that we end up giving away at work or to family so it's like well how about redirecting the extras to the open door if you okay. really use it my final comment to both you just Gentlemen, we are at Stageport Park, which is uh, part of the jewel of Gloucester along the waterfront, and uh, it, we're coming up to the season when many people from out of town get to enjoy this. Joe, right. comment on that, maybe? Well, you know, we're certainly uh, uh, appreciating this park more and more, and as you know, they know we're going to be celebrating uh, the 400th uh, anniversary of Gloucester, which was, I think, like 2017 or... Uh, 2023. 23. Okay. And, and uh, this is going to be the place uh, that, uh, that uh, the celebrations are going to be had. Uh, it was here done before and in all, in all the previous years. So we we have a momentum going. We have a committee going to spruce up the park and uh, to be the mother and father and to uh, to make it pretty. Yep. Working forward for the, the 400th, right. which will be here before you know it. <laughs> okay, Greg, final thoughts? Uh, no, I'm just with Joe on that. You know, the, the cyclocross we had always raises controversy, but it also raised a lot of awareness that there were issues with the park totally unrelated to the, the bike race. So we've got this committee together that can keep an eye on it and come up with a real plan for 2023. Fantastic. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Roster City Councilor Joe Shalino and Greg Verga with more stuff online. I'm